I mean, I think the, the biggest way is that in season one, these kids were trying to prove that they didn't kill someone who they really didn't kill. And in season two, they're trying to hide the fact that they really did kill someone. So, you know, I think it, it's necessarily a little darker, a little scarier, a little more of a thriller for them. Uh, and, you know, add that, add to the mix the fact that someone knows what they did. Um, it's a, a pretty big moral crisis for them and they're constantly having to decide how far are they gonna go to protect the secret and how far should they go and can they trust each other? You know, I think they're both pretty bad, um, but I think Simon Says is a little more twisted and unpredictable. Um, and I think that makes them scarier. It was it was really really fun um, and also you know a little a little, a little nerve wracking because I know people love these characters so much and there's there's such a dedicated fandom to the book and you know we were really conscientious and like really wanted to make sure that we were delivering the characters that people love even as we step away from the books and do kind of push the characters into some darker circumstances than they ever, ever encounter in the book. I'm really proud of the whole season and I think people, the fans are gonna have a, a great ride for the whole season. There are a couple episodes in the middle of the season that sort of break the form and you get to, in episode five, you sort of see a different side of the Bayview 4, or Bayview 5 now, Murder Club, and kind of get to see all the characters uh, living their lives in a sort of more freeway if only for a moment and then in episode six we totally change point of view and kind of see the world through one of our through, through a different character's eyes i'm not going to give away which one but and, and so it's really fun to sort of see the see murder club through an outsider's eye um and i think those are those are two really special episodes I would say that they are just as romantic and juicy as they were in season one, but a lot more complicated. Um, you know, I think that how to trust someone and how to be intimate with someone um, when you're sharing this huge secret or when you're hiding this huge secret is, um, is really complicated. It makes romance more complicated. You know, they end season one apart, but I would just say that it's it's hard to put Nate and Bronwyn in a room together without there being some electricity. So, you know, they they definitely have some ups and downs in the season, but I think the fans are going to have are going to enjoy some very very fun Nate and content. I think it's different for all of them. I mean, I think, you know, watching someone die and making the decision to cover it up is definitely haunting all of them. And, you know, and we're not, we don't pretend that what they did was okay. You know, I think they're all really wrestling with it and all really having a hard time with it. But I think it's it's certainly weighing the heaviest on Cooper and Addie. And Addie specifically, because even though Jake wasn't who she thought she was, he was, uh, that was her first love and watching him die sets her back at the beginning of the season and we, we see her in a, a really dark place and you know I think rightfully the other characters are a little worried that she might not be able to, to shoulder the secret.